Good evening. How, how are you? Hello. Hi, Jill. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, that's good. I can hear you. That's better. How are, how, yeah. how are you? Nice to see you. How is everything? Doing well. Right. Excited about tonight. I think that we have some good stuff for them tonight. Yeah. Um, how, how about your evening? How, how's it going? Not too bad. Busy, staying active, of course. Uh, I just got back from a, a workout, did a late, later workout. So it was good. Not too bad. I just literally finished up with dinner. So it's a nice little topic that we're going into as we're elaborating throughout the week on kind of our habits and such. So, yeah, I'm excited. How was your, how was your evening? How's your day going? Well, pretty good. Not too bad. I actually like this time because uh, I had a chance to get some things done and – I think I'm going to do my stretches once we finish tonight. Okay. So, yeah. There you go. I'm excited. Yeah, there you Yeah, go. so. Uh, I like the, that's, I like the, the, I'm starting to get a little more uh, tech savvy here. I see Marie's already in the, in the chat. Said hi to her. That's good to see as well. So, yeah, also, um, as we're talking, and if anyone wants to also jump in and have any questions of, of themselves, they can always jump in and answer any questions or something they're thinking about. We can elaborate on it, you know, go back and forth, just hear different perspectives and go from there. So, uh, like I said, uh, obviously, Jewel and I are, are on camera, but if you guys have any questions, we can certainly, uh, you know, reach out. And, and, and if it's along the same topics, you know, elaborate a little longer. And that's why we're kind of doing these things because um, there's so much that you can get from typing in Google, you know, what I'm trying to look for and such forth from there. So, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, so I know that we said for uh, the topic for the evening was fitting. Now that it is evening time, uh, we wanted to jump into uh, kind of uh, what, 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 what are the ways to kind of go about uh, your evening kind of uh, meals. Obviously, uh, like we always stated before, every person is different. Every lifestyle is different. You're going to kind of need different foods at different times and different seasons and such forth from there. So all we're trying to establish is just a nice foundation where you can start from there to understand, hey, this stuff is actually working for me. And then from there, you can have your personal favorites. And I know Jewel said she has something, you know, she, she can't take nuts, you know. Uh, 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 she has allergic reaction and she can't have them in her diet and such forth from there. So like I said, there's always different around it. I think for me, I've, I've, as I've gotten more plant-based over the last handful of years, I've just seen there's so many different more, uh, so many different uh, uh, veggies out there and fruit and and different type of substitute foods, not, you know, in the, um, uh, not too much substituted in terms of too many ingredients, but in areas where you still get your nutrients and such forth from there. So I'm excited. Uh, is there anything that you wanted to start off with before we start getting on the topic? Is there anything that you wanted to touch on based on? Yeah, I, I wanted to recap about Tuesday. Okay. Um, down, uh, you were talking about the bread and the white, uh, the white flour and um, I think it was um, what was it, uh, that you reduced your your flour, the white process. And I was thinking one of my favorite go tos is rice cake. Oh, you know. Okay. I'll do those too. But because I'm not trying to lose weight, I'm trying to maintain. But I think what at this point I need to build muscle. So that was one thing, and we were talking about different foods. We were talking about oatmeal, and um, I had a few other things I think that um, were good because at one time I used to be allergic to green beans. Wow! Okay. You know, and okay. okay, yeah, Pepsi and yeah, anything with the cola nut. But a lot of people don't know that green beans you know, comes from like yeah. a cola nut. So, oh. but now I can eat green beans, oh, okay. which is one of my favorites. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Um, yeah, no, that's interesting. Honestly, uh, since I've come out more in the West, obviously I, I was born and raised in, uh, in Illinois, Midwest. And I've kind of realized that over the whole kind of season, I kind of had to pack on a little more pounds because it is a little colder. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just natural. You just find yourself naturally at that weight, uh, a heavier, you don't find yourself, you know, you don't think you're heavier. Than, than you should be, but you just had a naturally heavier uh, weight just because you, you just body needs it, you know, just because it is a little colder, especially you uh, being in, over there. Uh, I bet it is, but this season now, it's, it's definitely in prime time season. So, uh, yeah, I, over here in the, in the West Coast, uh, I've realized that you, you don't really need to have as much because, you know, it's a little hot and 
you know, it does, you know, stick on you. And so I've realized that that kind of helps as well. So like I said, it, it is seasonal. It's not like, you know, this is the right way and that's not the right way. You know, I, I did find myself, you know, eating a little more in terms of the carbs, but I didn't feel like my body was out of energy or I was losing a step, you know, and I was working with, you know, hundreds of a thousand, pretty much hundreds of thousands of kids a day, you know, in terms of what we were doing and dealing with families and such forth. So like I said, you start realizing when you come to a different lifestyle, different, you know, environment and such forth, you kind of have to adjust to that as well so yeah it's interesting right. as well so yeah no so that was my thing with the flower and, and kind of that way and i just I'm, I'm, I'm in the west coast now and it's kind of how how i'm, uh, I'm enjoying it but it's also uh, something where i'm not really eating uh, uh on a consistent uh you know daily time where i know hey i'm gonna be out of the house for six seven hours you know the lifestyle here is a little more loose there's more the, the restaurants are a little closer the grocery stores a little closer one or two minutes in in and out back and forth it's not too bad but in chicago uh it's definitely traffic people you know rush hour and it's just to do your daily runs can t you know add up a couple hours and it goes into your other process of trying to cook your own food and then you're trying to get a work done so yeah, it becomes a whole lifestyle change and i think i've i've tried to adjust as best as possible from there but yeah, yeah. there's i don't i, I don't want to say I'm, I'm totally against it and this and that but just for me personally that's that's kind of where i'm at there yeah yeah and like you say seasons and so i change up which is why i like different seasons because in the spring and summer everything is different fall and winter is different well tomorrow we're going to be I, I think it said eight degrees uh, warmer than today, but it's really not bad because okay. we're, you know, it's sunny all the time. Not, yeah, we yeah. actually have, you know, we have like California weather, um, but yet it's it's cold, cold, Colder, you know, yeah. and there's no, yeah, no humidity. Yeah, yeah, so it yeah. seems like when it's thirty, it's like it. Sometimes in some areas, it's like. 70 degrees but it's really 30 because of the sun. the sun yeah but yeah yeah i hope you don't mind me sipping my tea while we talk about the five things i think you know i wanted to say something too because well we'll talk about that afterwards because i saw a couple of posts today and this is my detox season i usually detox for the month of january so things i'm switching it up a little bit oh. Because normally I just do fruits and then vegetables, and then the third and fourth week I do something different. But um, things are changing, things are different. So I'll let you start off with the five things, and I'll sip my tea. How's that? Excellent. Yeah, no, obviously um, there are different categories um, in terms of kind of the top five. So I have kind of five categories, and my top kind of one for each. Uh, obviously, when we're going into kind of a, a meal plan for the dinner, it's kind of, in my personal view, kind of the last meal that you're going to have before you kind of rest for the evening. Uh, you're going to start, you know, shut it down and call it quits. And, and kind of, for me, I don't like to look at it as a fast, but for me, not eat until, you know, morning time when I have a, a, another 12 to 15 hours uh, before my next meal. So I want to make sure I'm getting a, a, enough um, kind of uh, nutrients full around and to make sure I'm full, but also not getting those, uh, uh, not feeling hungry and, and this and that, starving myself, uh, right. such forth from there. So, uh, yeah, so uh, the first uh, uh, topic are just talking about grains. Obviously, uh, you know, you, in your meal, people have the rice, uh, brown rice, white rice, um, couscous, uh, quinoa, wild rice, there's so many. Uh, different options out there. Uh, for me, I go with the quinoa and I go with the wild rice. Uh, those uh, are just nice uh, kind of grains that I pick that go well with my meal. Um, I, I, I have a steam. I, I know I, I shouldn't say this, but I have a steam cooker, uh, a rice cooker. Uh, uh, if my, if my, my mom's going to find out, she, she, she would be upset. But I, I have one and it's great. Uh, you know, it has different options out there on there uh, in terms of what kind of grain you want to do. Brown rice, white rice. Uh, whether it is uh, a, a certain different, uh, mine just has the white rice and, and brown rice on there. There's other ones that have, you know, elaborate where you can actually get like quinoa and uh, little tougher grains as well. So I go with the quinoa and the and wild rice. I go with a nice little portion, uh, kind of about my palm, sometimes a little bigger 
uh, just because I know I, I am working out and I do want to keep my size, but also be able to kind of build my size and do it in a healthy way uh, as well, where I'm not, you know, packing on too much. So uh, like I said, I would go with uh, grains. Now, uh, also another substitute is when people are thinking about uh, their dinner time is obviously, you know, they have the bread. We spoke about the bread. Uh, one thing I wanted to speak a touch on was for evening time is people deal with pastas. And also there's the noodles and there's so many different noodles you can do. Uh, I also like to do the noodle substitutes as well because you can easily portion that out. You know, if you have like a, a, a box full of, of, of string noodles, you can literally grab a third, you can grab a half and really have your portions there for what you're looking for. So you can go obviously with the whole wheat. Uh, there's also uh, there, there's also vegetable substitutes as well, whether you can get the zucchini, carrot, uh, sweet potatoes, squash noodles, all there are substitutes where you can kind of uh, keep your uh, 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 carbs at a, at a low rate, um, but still get your nutrients, get that good fiber that you're looking for along with the meal. And there's also a, a good amount of protein in there as well. Um, and we'll talk about a little more uh, on the kind of meat uh, topic there as well. So that's my going into my next topic. So any, any thoughts on there on grains and kind of what you like, what works for you, what doesn't work for you? Uh, go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, no, you're good. I like the quinoa pasta. Have you ever made um, macaroni and cheese with the quinoa noodle, elbow noodle? I, ha I have. Not. I mean, I, I, I've, 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 not me personally made. I've, you know, I, I stay, I kind of stay away from the dairy uh, as well. Uh, I, there is dairy substitutes as well for the cheese, um, but yeah. I, there's also like I, I kind of look at it where the noodles are kind of like. Um, a, a chance, like I said, where you can actually portion it out in terms of kind of what you're looking for. But I haven't had that with the with the mac and cheese. Yeah, uh, I've done that. And at one time, I, you know, they're not used to the uh, quinoa, but it, it's a total different. It doesn't even taste like quinoa. It really tastes like mac and cheese. Yeah, I now, I do know there's some people like uh, the vegan cheese. I'm just, if I'm going to eat mac and cheese, I want the real cheese. I normally don't substitute because I, um, I think about the um, additives and the preservatives. And what people don't realize is when they do the uh, vegan cheese, it's processed. So I try to stay away from processed food. So that's my take on that. But, yeah, noodles, I actually saw where some of the grocery stores are now um, creating squash noodles where you can buy it already. Yeah, 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 they have, they have, ready. yeah they have it packaged, ready to go. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of yeah. no excuse uh, kind of going into it anymore. But that's interesting that you say about the cheese. I think my goal is uh, I'm going to have you converted into kind of getting away a little more from dairy. That's going to be my goal. I'm just going to blast information 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 but you're right there are a lot of preservatives obviously like i said i don't when i talk about substituting food that doesn't mean hey i'm gonna go substitute i'm gonna have a burger but it's gonna be i don't i kind of don't do that you know what i mean if i want to stay i want to stay as plant-based as possible as less ingredients as possible and there are so many great um you know i mean it is 2023 i mean you go to amazon you go to google you can find devices and and, and gadgets for your kitchen where you're making your own kind of almond milk, you're making your own kind of milk that you want out of your own any nut, uh, also kind of making your own type of cheese as well. So uh, I, like I said, I'm going to find a way to have you kind of try uh, a, a certain brand that that is, you know, it, there is a certain taste to it, but I, I don't look at cheese in terms of the taste. I look at, I'm avoiding it because there's certain qualities that it does to my body that I kind of, I've, I've realized as an athlete, as, you know, with my joints and my this and that, and kind of being a more active lifestyle on the daily with the kids and that forth and such forth, I've realized that it has, uh, it, it did slow me down. And when I took it off my diet, I did see a difference. You know what I mean? Um, so like I said, okay. I'm not, I'm not nothing against it, but that's, that's going to be my, my little side note is I'm going to, I got some, I got some, a little agenda. I'm going to put a little, a uh, nice little plan out for you as well oh, so okay that's uh now, let me ask you something let me ask you now are you do you have any um diagnosis that you have to um change your diet or are you just completely have you just completely decided 
uh, to go raw or plant based, total plant based. Yeah, total, total plant based. Um, just, I mean, the thing is, like, uh, when I was, I, I, I lived in Europe uh, out there for a, few, a handful of years, and I was playing soccer out there. And it, it, the whole lifestyle over here, we have, like, the big stores, the you know, Sam's Club and Walmarts and Targets, and you just right. get groceries, and you, you're going to have food for the week or two weeks. And out there, it's like you pick up food for the day, for probably the next, you know, the, the evening and then morning. And then you get it, right. and the next morning, you go, to the, you go to the bakery, you go to the uh, deli shop or whatever it is. And you pick out your foods. And I just found that, you know, for me and kind of just my body, like I said, my body in terms of kind of eliminating those foods from me. And I just found myself, uh, you know, I've seen, so I know that feeling of when eating a Chipotle burrito and it's a chicken or a steak. And after you can't move, you know. And for me, I'm just like, I'm, I want, I'm eating food to give me energy. I'm not eating food. Right to use more energy and then I'm dull and you know, people talk about, oh, it's Thanksgiving or in, you know, Turkey's gonna put you to sleep. And I'm like, well, I'm not, well, I, I really wanna eat food that's gonna give me energy. And there's certain food, I'm not talking about for eight hours and nine, seven hours, but something that's fulfilling where I'm able to kind of, you know, do my daily task and, and, and not worry about, hey, when's my next meal? Hey, where's my snack or where's my granola bar? You know, and kind of just get away from it. And then once your body kind of yeah. starts waking up, it'll give its natural signals, be like, Hey, you're wearing down a little bit. You plan on doing these next things for the next eight hours. Let's get something in you. So that's how I've kind of looked at it. You know what I mean? And I'm very fortunate, you know, to have this type of lifestyle. Uh, it is something that you have to keep up on. I'm not bragging about it, but it just works for me. You know what I mean? And like I said, um, it, it, it's 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 not worked for me in terms of you know budget wise or you know because I'm on the West Coast and this is what people are eating and this and that. I've literally found it where you know I've actually been losing weight, I'm gaining muscle. I've, you know, I've never seen, I haven't seen my body in this type of shape um, since, you know, for 15 years, since I was in my early 20s, you know, playing, you know, training every single day, a couple times out of the day, you know, and now after that, when your body takes form, you kind of let, you just let it do its thing, you know what I mean? And that's exactly. kind of... That's why I say it's, it's you live, you eat to live, not live to eat. Exactly. Exactly. That's my that's, I love. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I love that. Yeah. So, talking about meats, that's a good little segue. Is kind of you know you have your grains. What's the next portion? People are right away thinking about uh, the meats, and I have nothing against it. You know, chicken, steak. Um, I also want to recommend that people actually look and see if they take you know a certain food out of their diet. What happens to their body? Do they see a difference? Try it. Try it. You know. Try it. You know the. Shop's not going to stop, you know, making that food that you're, that you're looking for. So I would say try it. Every person's body is different, obviously, but also some people's bodies uh, do need that, you know. So I totally understand. So uh, like I said, my only thing is add, add good portions. And my only thing is as less processed as possible. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. If you're going to marinate stuff, if you're going to do your own kind of do, you know, do that at your own at, at home. But stay away from processed and, you know, low quality meats and stuff that right. is second grade. You know, if you're going to do it, do it the right way, get, get what you're trying to get out of it, and then and go on from there, you know what I mean? And, and I also and a second, I, I want to highlight again the, the portion part, you know what I mean? Because, you know, people are thinking, well, you know, I'm cutting off the carbs, and I'm just sticking on the, on, the, on, the, on the protein side, and I'm seeing a difference with my body. And I'm like, and it's like, yeah, but there, there's, there's such a range of each person's body, you know? So if, someone lose, if someone's 200 pounds and they eliminate carbs, they're not all of a sudden going to be 170 pounds. If you lose, if you cut right. out the carbs, you'll be at best 192. But if you do it the natural way and you go at it a fulfilling way and you have an active lifestyle as well, we can get your natural body weight lower and it's all of a sudden like 190, 185. You know, naturally where your whole body is adjusting to that, to that, to that weight. You know what I mean? People are so focused on yeah. my belly, my back, my hips, you know, and, and, and what about your calves? Your legs, your glutes, your hips, your back, your arms, your shoulders, your even top chest. You know what I mean? And there's so many different areas where your body it it it'll, it'll just shrink. You know what I mean? And it naturally does as right. you get older because you start losing those natural vitamins and, and and that forth. But like I said, there's there's a natural weight where you can get to, but it's not by a shortcut, a simple thing by eliminating a food. You need carbs. You know what I mean? So what are your thoughts on that in yes. terms of like eliminating a food just to get results? What are your thoughts on that? Yeah. 
I have no problems with that. I say that as well. But I also say, especially for those that are suffering with a, a, a disorder, like uh, yes. for a matter of fact, there's been a couple of people I've talked to about IBS, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, and there's certain foods that they can eat, certain ones that they can't eat. So I definitely know when I say, especially helping people, I need to, I need them to fill out the form so that I can see what's going on. I can see if they're on medication. I also need to get their blood work so I can help them. And, you know, the foods for energy. So the foods for energy is, is the same for IDS. You know, because people are stressed out right now. There's certain uh, things that can arise with IBS. So you have to be mindful and know what foods to eat so that you can gain the energy. Yeah. Uh, because at the end of the day, during the daytime, um, you want energy. Um, you want to be able to eat foods to, to lessen depression, anxiety. Um, so, again, it's the same foods, but unless you know what your body is lacking, there's no way we can really, you know, like, for example, you can have nuts. I cannot. Um, you can have flaxseed. I can have flaxseed. I can have oatmeal, but it used to be I couldn't eat oatmeal. I can only eat rice. Mm. So because of all the allergies, I have eventually evolved to where I'm trying different things, and it's allowed, and it's working for me. So yeah, the foods that give you energy is important. And so, um, and you mentioned jackfruit. So yeah, I'm going to touch on that a, a little bit. Uh, as well going okay. into that yeah so uh yeah like i said the the thing for me is with the meats and i totally agree with you that in terms of the the the, the um disorders that are out there in terms of concern with the health yeah, there's so many out there i think for me it's it, we can't eliminate a portion of our food that we need you need carbs you need meat you need that you need this let's eliminate sugar let's eliminate eliminate soda let's eliminate the dessert let's you know have dessert once out of the week maybe twice out of the week at a certain right. time out of the day, you know, not after nine, 10 o'clock, you know, it's, it's not that drastic. It has to be right. like a drill sergeant. This is the army lifestyle. This, this is not it. This no. is your life. And it has to be something where you can be comfortable for you and understand this is what and works that. for me. You know what I mean? And I'm going to, I'll recommend it. But if someone's like, Hey, this doesn't work for me. Okay. Let's find something that does. And I bet we will. And I bet right. we will, you know, to get you going right. on, on, on the right path, you know? So yeah, going with the yeah. jackfruit, the way the thing that I go about it, I just go. I stick with more of the the on the veggie side to get. What am I trying to get? I'm trying to get fiber. I'm trying to get protein to make me stay fuller longer. I'm trying to stay stay you know lean as possible. You know the the I'm trying to stay plant based. So with me, I do go with uh, you know steaming my sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes for me are a great thing at night. They help me you know my muscles relax, help with blood flow, and uh, really low on glycemic as well. Uh, so it doesn't spark up uh, right. your your blood from there. Uh, and I did touch base on the on the jackfruit. I did send you a picture on my personal brand that I go with as well. It's 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 something yeah. where for me it's 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 a tight when you know when it's pulled. I used to you know cut the whole plant and this and that. Now it does actually go to a store. They have it in the brine you know as well. You just open the can, pull out the the the, the little fruit in there, and uh, you know it's it's kind of tight in the beginning. But once it's kind of thawed out, I, like I said, there's a second compartment into that rice cooker that I have. We can actually excuse me. We can actually excuse me where you can actually uh put you know vegetables up there so i'll have a couple of sweet potatoes in there i'll have a couple you know okay. uh, portions of the, of the jackfruit and by the end of you know you know a solid you know 15 20 minutes once it's you know steamed up it it, it literally thaws out you know and uh, it, it works out okay. well like i said I, I i do put some you know different sauces on there as well i kind of stay stay on the as healthy as possible nothing crazy where it's like a buffalo ranch a spicy right. dip you know what i mean not something like that something where it's a little flavor of, of, a, of a certain uh, uh veggie or something like a little veggie dip with a couple ingredients and such forth uh and then lastly uh in terms of trying to get a, a, a more of a plant-based protein and, and getting that protein are mushrooms um uh, mushrooms are something yeah. that i look for as well we can you know i mean you can actually go in that that the, top, the head of it you can actually go and grill it 
and, and you know, start having a little burger part of it as well. Uh, I like to, you know, slice them up in a little, slice them up, put them in a little, uh, uh, you know, a little pan, put some bell peppers in there. I like to cut up some bell peppers, cut up some onions, put them in there, put a little sauce in there, put some avocado oil, and then I like to add that in the meal as well. So that's how I, I kind of get my protein and fiber with my grains as a substitute for, you know, the turkey and the chicken and such forth from there. So your thoughts on, on kind of that as, 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 a, as, a, um, as a substitute. And I know Marie had asked, you know, she has issues with plant-based foods. I told her I'm going to name at least one, and I did. She said she loves mushrooms. Uh, it tastes like meat. It does. I mean, I told uh, Jewel last episode, oh. I put my, I put the, I literally went and bought the A1 steak sauce. I'm like, let's, let's try it out with the jackfruit. And I'm like, it, 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 the texture, it's, it's, you know, shredded, it's there. It tastes great, you know, it tastes, it, tastes, it tastes what I need to taste out of it, you know what I mean, from there. So, yeah, with the mushrooms, there's so many different mushrooms out there and so many different ways that you can do them and so many different ways you can have them in the same meal where you can slice them up and have them, you know, uh, uh, sauteed with, like, you know, tacos and such forth from there. And also you can just, you know, grill them as, as, a, as a burger uh, as well, so. So, yeah, I'm glad that we found one for Marie with the mushrooms. And I, I love mushrooms. Like I said, I put different vegetables in there with the onions. Uh, I, I like to put up uh, bell peppers as well, yeah. green, red peppers as well. And then, uh, you know, it's a nice little meal with, with the other kind of uh, portions as well. So, uh, and then lastly, I know I talked mm -hmm. about this as well. And I know kind of more people are going towards this. We're more of a fermented a meal with or a fermented portion with their meal so there's also the kimchi i know kimchi is is is, is has gotten a lot has gotten a lot uh, uh very uh you know popular it's got a lot of probiotics in there it's, it's helping people with their guts helping people with their digestion and it's a good way for them to kind of end their night with that meal and kind of let the stomach and the body do its work uh and sauerkraut as well um i found i i, I found myself um sauerkraut i literally had a mushroom burger it was mushroom i Stacked on sauerkraut, you know, uh, some Ezekiel mm -hmm. bread that I just tossed and I just went at it, you know what I mean? And I just kind of uh, go go uh, with, the, with the sauerkraut in that way. I, I can't go sauerkraut, you know, with, you know straight with the, with oh. the fork and, and go well, at I it. Can. I need something I can. with it. You know? Oh, you can, you can, you, you can. But it's, it's such yeah. a great food. It's such yeah. great food. So those qualities, yeah, you're, you're getting those uh, definitely. So your thoughts on, on kind of those jackfruit, sweet, po uh, sweet potatoes, mushrooms, uh, kimchi, uh, and sauerkraut. Obviously, you've got a fan here with the sauerkraut. Yeah. yeah. Well, sweet potatoes is a, is a must, and it's also good. And it, 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 it's um, very good. Um, well, we always talk about cancer for cancer survivors. That's one of the best things you can eat is a sweet potato and then the sauerkraut is very good for the gut uh, because of the uh, I want to I don't know if I'm saying this correctly I do know that it's for the good flora in the gut I don't want to say that it is lactose bacillus that is the um, yogurt but um, sauerkraut for the gut and also for those that are working on um, the lining in their stomach, the digestion problems, that's the number one thing. It's also good for mental, um, for your mental uh, psyche yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't realize that it's the anti um, uh inflammatory mm -hmm. so sauerkraut is good and it used to be uh that people would only eat it you know during what is that uh saint patrick's day uh but it is cabbage but it's fermented cabbage so, yeah yeah uh fermented yeah. cabbage it, as well that's a good one very, i'm just gonna write that down yeah that's yeah a good one. but that's what sauerkraut is it's really cabbage as well but you i like it's uh, simple cabbage yeah, there's also in the Mediterranean, you, they have cabbage uh, salads where it's kind of you cut up right. the cabbage, you put, you know, uh, a little seasoning on there with the oil. And, uh, and there's also the purple cabbage as well. That's a lot, that's a lot more popular with the purple cabbage and the hummus right. uh, and, and put in the salad with some cucumber, tomatoes, onions. And that's kind of a more of a Mediterranean right. uh, kind of dish as well. So you, you, you brought something up with the, with the cabbage. I, I wasn't thinking, I was thinking sauerkraut, sauerkraut. You said cabbage. I'm like, yeah, the... I love cabbage salad, yeah. with the, but just raw without it being all cooked and stuff from there. So right. interesting. Right. Interesting. And I do a, a wonderful um, 
cabbage tail, red, yellow, orange, uh, peppers with a whole onion and lots of garlic. And I um, mix it all with um, olive oil. Oh, wow. And my, my cousin showed me how to make this. And then you just sear it. And some people cook it all the way. And then at the end, I take a handful of okra and let it uh, steam on top. And that is so good. Wow. Um, but that's something that really works, sure. uh, especially for energy. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, no, this is great. I think we've, we've kind of uh, touched on a, on, a, on a variety of things where people understand that, hey, you know, I, I understand, Martin. But, you know, this doesn't work for me. This works for me. And we're all trying to get the same kind of goal out of it. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's just sort of trying right. to make the most out of out of our bodies and make sure we keep it at its best, such forth from there, and as healthy as possible, kind of get away from pains and aches on a daily basis. So we spoke on, you know, talking about dinner, evening kind of uh, uh, meal. Uh, we spoke on grains. We spoke on uh, uh, meat uh, and kind of substitutes. I want to speak a little more on, on veggies, vegetables, uh, as a side portion as well, I know we did touch base on how it's my substitute, but as well, you know, if you are having a chicken, if you are having a turkey, it's also, you know, or, or whatever kind of meat you are, is to also include, you know, vegetables in there as well. So uh, what are your vegetables? I, I stick with, you know, the regular, you know, I like to steam and cook. If we're going to grill asparagus, uh, if we're going to steam, uh, you know, potatoes, I like potatoes uh, as well as, as, as something to have as well. Um, and then, like I said, the bell peppers, uh, cucumbers, um, and just something as as a as a side portion. But I'm already kind of getting that. So, what are your kind of vegetables that you go for with in your meal? Well, I love I really love my kale and cabbage, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sweet potatoes. Um, pretty much, well, some even in the morning, I'll saute. Um, zucchini and squash with onions and Very nice. a lot of seeds. Well, I use a lot, a lot of seeding because it gives you that, uh, what's the word, satiety. It makes you full and it's satisfying. Mm. But pretty much now I can eat any vegetable except eggplant. I'm still allergic to eggplant. Mm. I, but, was, um, about, I, literally, I literally just wrote that down. Eggplant is something that I have as well uh, that I kind of cook. Where it's kind of steaming in a pot, I wish mix I it with some it. vegetables, mix it with some sauce, and and kind of have a meal with it as well. So that's interesting, yeah. So, yeah, those were kind of the big three that people kind of focus on: are grains, meats, vegetables, with kind of their dinner, their kind of late evening, kind of uh, meal. And then these two, I kind of look as different kind of categories, but I don't want to forget about them as I think they're a key as you end your night and kind of start your next day. Uh, and there are two categories. One is snacks <laughs> uh, or slash desserts. And then uh, uh -huh. the other one is hydration. Uh, I, I don't want to kind of forget about that. I think that's something on the side that people can, can uh, uh, have. I want to touch base on and kind of have people have their own kind of different ways to kind of stay hydrated, stay kind of moving and their brain still going throughout the night. And not have to force themselves, you know, with a Gatorade or an energy drink mm -hmm. to kind of end their night. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So just with snacks, yeah. uh, my personal favorite uh, are, are just is just popcorn. I know we had spoke, we touched a little base, a little bit on it uh, when you had said that you put something different on it. I just get regular popcorn, and on there uh, I just put some. I literally in the bag I just drizzle some olive oil just to get it going. I'll mix it in the bag, and then from there I'll just add some seasoning, uh, Italian seasoning, or sometimes I'll add some oregano just to add something. You know what I mean? Uh, and then I'll snack on it. For me, it's a, it's a great late night snack. It kind of helps me fall asleep, kind of tone down a little bit, shut, shut off the system a little bit, and and get and not have to you know pack my body with such uh, uh, heavy uh, sugar or something where it's just gonna get me going. Just a nice, easy, calm snack uh, that I like to go on from there. Uh, and I know if you want to talk about your your kind of way of how you do your popcorn. Well, actually, I'm a popcorn. I love the crunch, so. Sometimes I'll put seasoned salt on it. it. Depends on what I'm doing. But at night, I now see I'm one that still pop popcorn over the stove. Oh, not just microwave popcorn. Okay. See, I like it over the stove. So I will use olive oil to pop my popcorn. 
But when you mentioned that, I was like, I've never done that, especially with, um, what do you say, Italian seasoning. So I'm going to try that tonight. Yeah. But, yes, popcorn is one of my go-tos. And um, just just this week, I ran out of um, my popcorn oh, no. that I cook over the stove. And so I bought um, – a brand of the microwave popcorn. So now all I have to do is you say just drizzle the olive oil in there and shake it up and then add some seasoning. I'm going to try that, which this is good because we're able to share different things that, because I'm running out of ideas. And then when you mentioned the jackfruit, see, I've had it, but not the way you had it. So that's something I can try. Of course. But yeah, popcorn. And another thing I really like is sometimes at night I like, now this is something that we talked about, but I like avocado, onion, tomato, and shrimp. And because I'm up late at night, but that is so satisfying to me. <laughs> and sometimes yeah. I'll put it on, yeah, sometimes I'll put it on that Ezekiel bread, and then I can keep going. But I do take my nap. So that's some, because I am up late at night, but then I go with my body. Because some days, depending on my schedule, I have to flip in midstream. So that's another reason why I'm able to help people figure out which way to go, because sometimes you have to change according yeah. to your body. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I always recommend it. Uh, you know, there's no right or wrong type of foods. If something works for you and you like it and it tastes well and it kind of helps you stay away from binging on a, you know, a, a bag of potatoes or, or, you know, a bag of Oreos or something, go ahead and have it. My only thing is just make sure you have it at a decent time. You know, don't have it past, you know, 11, midnight, 1 o'clock, and you're in the refrigerator, you know, putting your own little mix of a uh, little dish together. Uh, you, know, it's, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, is understandable you know at decent portions but yeah. it, it's not because the food is bad it's just what it'll do to your body of what your body's trying to do your body yeah right yeah right so, and at two and three between two and let's just say two and four in the morning you know that's when your body digests and gets ready for the next day exactly. so a lot of people don't realize especially when you when the doctor says you have to fast you know, nothing by mouth, but you can have water. Well, that's when your body is processing. So a lot of times, if you are diabetic or have high blood pressure, you don't want to eat past 9 o'clock at night. You want to give your body a chance to start uh, digesting. And then while you're sleeping between 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning, that's when your body does the biggest digest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, well, that's important. it's a whole science. Yeah. And you have to under, kind of understand that because your body is a different schedule than what's going on in, in, in real life. You know what I mean? So you kind of have to adjust and, and make for both. And then once you kind of align both, and it, it's kind of crazy to right. say, but you can align both. And once you align both, that's when you're kind of, you know, at your best, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually, and such forth yeah. there. So I know this next one for snacks is something because – you know, you, you just can't uh, ha go with it. But, you know, cashews, almonds, peanuts, uh, I, I, I recommend those. But people think because they're, you know, they're small and you can just load them in your hand and throw them in your mouth. It's like, oh, it's, yeah, they're like, oh, I, I can have a couple of these. I, I would stay away from that because they, they are, you know, they are, there is healthy fats in there. And that'll still spike up your, your blood, your blood sugar because it'll be getting you going. You know what I mean? And we're kind of staying away from trying to get all that so if you're trying to get your those kind of that that type of source i recommend kind of earlier like i say earlier and maybe not so much you know a, a third of a, a third of a palm with almonds uh sorry with cashews maybe a half palm with almonds uh peanuts you know i i i have i have realized that people uh have taken something where they're ha either eating uh, with peanut butter or regular peanuts um they have more of an uh, their skin is more oily. And once they've kind of eliminated that from their bodies, they've kind of seen their, their body kind of uh, not have that much oil uh, in terms of the face, acne, and such forth from there because of the, the, it just builds up in their body and they're not really active and they're just, oh, it's just a snack. And they're just eating, 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 and their body just puts it to waste. And 
you know, you just, you're not, it doesn't do anything with it. You know what I mean? So that's one thing. It's like I, I go with it, but also at a good portion. Like if you're going to go anything and you want, you know, hey, I'm going to go five, six, seven of these veggies, you know, cucumber sticks, any type of veggie sticks. Uh, even, and then I recommend, you know, if you're going to have, you can do your dips uh, with a hummus dip. If you're going to have some uh, different type of uh, veggie dip or something, have it at good portions. Like you just said, you got to have your quad. You got to have your little this and that. There's nothing wrong with that. If it'll take yeah. you away from doing something much worse. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing. I'd rather you right. do that than, than, oh, you know, I, I had a plate full of French fries and now I'm, you know, having a couple of sandwiches. It's like, well, then just have that one go-to. And then eventually we can find a substitute and then, you know, find a way to kind of have it in late, earlier in the meal. And it's not messing up your body so kind of much. And, um, yeah, see, like what Marie says, and, and I totally I, I totally agree. Peanut butter is great with apple, bananas. I eat that. I eat that. But I just recommend not at night because you're going to have those sugars. You're going to have that in your body. and It's not really doing anything with it. And it just adds you know, yeah. body weight because the insulin is going to spike up and one insulin is just a fat body storing cell. And it just, you know, you're going to sleep, your body's trying to work it off and you got this stuff in your stomach. It's not really what, what it's made for to do uh, there. But in the morning, peanut butter, apple. Oh man. And I'm making my own kind of uh, pancakes as well, where it's kind of like uh, less with, without a flour. It's kind of like a keto kind. And um, it's, it's, um, it's it's a great substitute where I'm loading up, you know, some peanut butter on there with some jackfruit syrup uh, as well, and it's it's a great fruit. I uh, sorry, uh, monk uh, monk the monk fruit uh, syrup as well on the on the waffles and pancakes as well. So yeah, not at night. I'm Marie, I totally agree, Marie. Excellent. Yeah, awesome. But for a morning or a lunch, those are my go-to. Yeah, it's weird because I'm not getting what you're getting. Mine isn't scrolling so I can't even see what you guys are saying. I mean I I have to manually roll scroll up. So, so I'm just now seeing the I'll try the jackfruit and whatnot. So that's kinda interesting. I'll have to figure out why I'm not scrolling. Yeah, no but yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. And yeah, so that's like I said, something as a substitute as another snack for people to go on. And my last one kind of option that people kind of don't don't think on and I, I recommend is is a soup. You know, it's 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 light on your stomach. It's warm. First of all, it's always warm. You know, it's gonna be warm, which is great for your stomach. Um, and it's also a great way to get, kind of get those nutrients and vitamins that you're looking for. That you would you don't have to you know eat a, a raw broccoli and, and raw veggies and that forth. You can put them in a stew, put them in a soup, and 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 kind of get what you're looking for from there. For me, tomato soup with some, you know, bread uh, as well, and some, you know, my my uh, substitute cheese that I'm gonna have you uh, get on eventually as well. It's something for me where I'm kind of I, I had a late like uh, I have a kind of late workout. I got done with work a little later than expected. A late workout. I don't want to eat, you know, a full meal. It's a great little meal that I can have where I know, okay, it's going to give me what I need for the night, and then I'll feel good by morning time. So soup is something that I recommend. Obviously, you know, not a whole, you know, two bowls full as well, but something, a good portion as well, kind of end your night and go from there. So your thoughts on that, on, on soups and, and kind of such work? Yeah, matter of fact, we had a clam chowder uh, soup today with bread, uh, but let me reiterate, although I'm allergic to all the nuts, I can have pumpkin seeds and I can have sunflower seeds. Oh man, pumpkin seeds, seeds are amazing. Or sun nuts. Okay, yeah. Yeah, pumpkin so seeds I are eat, amazing. Yeah, so I eat a lot of um, sun nuts and then I, I was just recently, within the last, I'll say 10 years, I've ventured to sun butter, but when I try to make a, a peanut butter or a sun butter and jelly sandwich, I'm like, what's all that about? No. I'd rather just eat the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but, but I think you should um, be careful about the sodium intake. Um, and a lot of things, see, now I make from scratch. Now, I know a lot of people will buy, mm. but a lot of things mm. I like to cook. So I, I will make my um, potato, broccoli, uh, soup, 
or I make a vegetable. It, it's called a, some people make it a vegetable stew, mm. but I make make mm. a vegetable stew. Mm. Too. I, excellent. So, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And so that way you're able to control the sodium intake. Yeah, that's a good point. And, um, yeah. yeah. I agree. So, yeah, no, so that was thing. kind of my last uh, 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 kind of topic on uh, and for snacks to kind of focus on was the soup. So we went on grains, we spoke on veggies, we spoke on meats or kind of substitutes for that. Um, and, and then the snacks and one, uh, obviously you're partaking in it right now, hydration. Uh, I highly recommend a good amount of water, not chugging yourself uh, worth, but good amount of, uh, uh, of water throughout the night to kind of end with. And then lastly, you know, I, I, second to that, I recommend is the teas, a green tea, uh, a black tea, something where you can kind of end your night on a, on a controlled kind of environment and not have your, 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 your blood kind of spike up and all of a sudden shoot because of the caffeine level. Right. It's something where it's, it's controlled, it'll give you what you're looking for, and then eventually put you off in kind of the right kind of tone from there. So, yeah, so those are my two. I, I don't really... Uh, uh, focus on any others. Uh, there are, obviously, there's the there's the coffees and the chais and, or and espressos. Yes, always like I say, add good portions uh, with as least uh, ingredients in there as possible. Um, and then if you can control it, I, like I say, always kind of earlier in the night, in the evening, to kind of go from there. And then obviously go from there. But for me, it's just water and, and green tea personally. So your thoughts on kind of hydration and, and kind of your top your picks. Yeah, now I have no problems with introducing the different um, pineapple juice, mango juice, but during the daytime, of course. at nighttime. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this. There are so many different teas out there, and people are using, like, tea bags. Like, this one is from, it's a tea bag, but it's natural. They made their own, put it in their own bag, mm -hmm. um, and uh, they're the best teas to drink are, or to speak are the um, the ones that you get that's not already processed or shaved. Mm. You want the real mm. leaf, the real root. You know, like some people will do the ginger, and they'll they'll use the uh, mm -hmm. ginger root, which is also good for the intestines. And we talked about, um, uh, what was it that we were talking about for the intestines where a probiotic, that's probiotic. a natural probiotic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I also mentioned drink a, whatever tea you drink is fine, mm -hmm. but if you really want the medicinal uh, uh, effect, you really want the real tea, the real leaf. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, the real flower. Um, but I do have some, and you can get some at the store, the real tea mm -hmm. leaf. Mm -hmm. And you put it in like a little ball mm -hmm. and you steep it in your in your cup. But um, a green tea is good, universal, all mm -hmm. around. But um, I do suggest sometimes if you are... If you do have a disease or a diagnosis, if you sip the green tea every day or every evening, especially at the same time, that works as an antibiotic as well. Mm. But so mm. I do suggest drinking teas and in addition to your water. Mm -hmm. And just mm -hmm. of guess what? They had the water went crazy, and guess what water I had to start with this week? Spring water. Let's go. Yep. Oh. I'm drinking spring yeah. water. Excellent. This week is spring water. I had no choice. All the water, it's like that too. People just buying stuff and things are off the shelf. So I was like, well, it's spring water this week it is. Right, so right. that's yeah. what I'm drinking. Try, yeah. After a few days, yeah. let me know if, 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 if what you're thinking, if you feel something, if, you, if there's a difference, not a difference, maybe a placebo effect, you never know. But that's interesting, yeah. So. Well, you know, I drink spring water. I just alternate. Oh, I okay. drink um, filtered water, spring. I just alternate. But it just so happened we were talking about it, and I'm like, there's no water, so exactly. spring water it is. Awesome. But yeah, I do drink 
I drink, I alternate my waters. I always have um, because your body chemistry, you know, like I said, who's to say, but if we really had to test the water, but I do have purified water. Um, I alternate purified water, um, spring water, and then sometimes pH water. My pH water is 9.7, so I just alternate yeah excellent excellent yeah no i'm glad we spoke about that and so yeah just in general those are my those are my five categories um you know the grains your meats your veggies your snacks your hydration for the evening one one that i wanted to touch base on and i kind of uh, kind of put it all together um is going out you know going out um you know whether it's you know late night meals or you know late night meals with friends uh, you know, um, or even, you know, drinking it at night and that, that and such forth. Um, I, I don't say no, you know, you want to, you know, you want to hang out, you want to enjoy your nights, you want to enjoy your time, you want to enjoy life. I, I just, I just really recommend that, you know, if you are going to do that, then just plan for yourself to kind of the next few days after to kind of just be more on a strict diet, not like eliminate yourself. Yeah. When I, when I think of diet, I think of the first few letters, diet. I'm not trying to do that, you know. I want this to be a lifestyle change. I want this to be something right. where it's like, where it's like, I know I'm hungover. I know I, you know, a uh, uh, late night pizza. It's in me. What are my plans to do to make sure I'm kind of on the next step? Go for a walk. Get some water in you. Be active. You know, plan your day ahead. Stay away from kind of, uh, first of all, any kind of uh, meat, uh, oily foods, processed foods. You know, stay away from that for the next right. few days if you can. Be kind of more on the leaner side. Uh, make, make sure you're more on the hydration side to kind of get your body eliminated those toxins and such forth. So that's my kind of only thing from there is like, if you know you're going to do it, you know, make sure, you know, if it is Friday night, make sure your Saturday morning is ready. You know, what you have to plan on doing in terms of your morning routine, uh, get it ready. Uh, so you're ready for Saturday, you're ready for Sunday, you can start the week off the right way, or if it's Saturday night, such forth from there, if it's midday or midweek, you know, a Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever, okay, Thursday or Friday, go kind of more on the leaner side, Saturday a little lower on, on, on the kind of easier side, that's my only thing, you know, I'm not saying don't do it, be disciplined, stay at home, you know, meal plan, that's not what this is about, this is that you're, you, you have to live, this is a lifestyle, but at the same time, it's enjoy yourself. Like I go out and my, my buddies are drinking this and that. I don't want to drink. I'm, just, I'm having a water, you know. I have I have a juice or something uh, in me. I don't even drink soda. It, and, but I'm still enjoying the environment, what we're, what we're trying to do there. It's good to see them, hang out. We still have our side jokes. We're still laughing. We still, you know, laugh when we hear that one certain song. I, I don't have to be like... You know, oh, tipsy and dry, you know, drinking to kind of get in that mood. I'm, I'm enjoying myself. You know, it feels better, you know. And I think kind of when I was younger and people are younger, they're stressed out and they want to go out for a purpose to kind of eliminate kind of a long week or a long day and to kind of get things out of there. I think you kind of want to uh, go out for, for enjoying while you're going. Enjoy seeing people. Enjoy the environment. Enjoy what you see in front of you. And, and do something different, you know what I mean, to kind of get the arousement. And what your body naturally needs, you know what I mean. So I'm not saying, you know, strict diet. I, I like I say, I don't, I don't use the word diet. I always use lifestyle. I always use, you know, what is best for you and your curriculum of what you have to do for your daily base, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever. So uh, I, I don't use diet uh, from there. So your thoughts, kind of on that, I'm going out, late night eating, drinking. What are you thought? What are your thoughts? You are on it. You are on it. And I agree with you totally. I read a post before uh, we came on live um, a couple of hours ago, and someone said something derogatory about all of us health fanatics. I'm like, listen, you, we've got to get the word out. We have got to bring awareness. Mm. Just because we make healthy choices doesn't mean we're imbeciles or we're boring. It just simply means that we pay attention to what we're putting in our mouth. Because exactly. uh, we're trying to slow down the process of all, this, all the herbicides and pesticides and stuff that's in our foods that's going to make us ill. And then who's going to take care of you? You know, then you got to worry about, then you're going to really need my service because now you're going to have to worry about uh, how to care for your loved one or how they can care for you. Uh, but, yeah, yes. I don't mind having a glass of wine. I don't mind. Well, here during these times, I'm not going out. Why? 
because I get the reason for the season. I have to keep myself, um, I respect the client and have to keep myself in order because I'm still out day to day uh, completing, you know, doing my work, finishing work. So with that being said, if I were to go out, I don't mind having a gin or tonic or something like that, but I'm not a fruity drink kind of girl Anyway, yeah, have yeah. Been. I mean, that's something. I mean, obviously, I we, we did speak about. You know, we wanted to break in kind of you know our lifestyles and kind of habits. I mean, we can definitely break into kind of more certain categories. I'm going out. What do I shoot for? What can I drink? What should I drink? You're out. 